I went ahead and asked, wait for it, 14 sales leaders whether or not you should include a note in your LinkedIn connection requests to your prospects. And this is what they said. Ah, the great debate on LinkedIn. Do you include a connection request note or not? No, oh, some people are not gonna like this one. LinkedIn may not like me for this one, but. Oh gosh, yeah, this is a divisive one. I do both. Hot take, I think no note is the way to go. You run the risk of potentially putting the wrong thing in front of the potentially right person versus letting your profile do the talking for you. Adding a note is a great way to give them a reason not to accept. Keep it blank or keep it real vague. Something as vague as, hey Will, I, I saw that you're also involved in this thing here. Are you open to connecting? Question mark. What I will say though is don't pitch slap people after you connect with them. I skipped the note. Most people when you send a blank connect, as long as your profile doesn't look sketchy, most of the time they're gonna accept it, at least in my experience. But if you send it with a note, it's like, I find myself just trying to force something that, that doesn't seem genuine. Someone like me, I can get away with not doing that as much because I create a lot of content on LinkedIn. My guess is that if you're watching this, you're probably not creating a lot of content on LinkedIn. So yeah, you should absolutely put a message in there only do that if you're gonna personalize it. If you're not gonna personalize it, you're better off leaving it blank. I leave a note actually giving them something. Hey, Will, it's Tom over at Rev League. Would love to connect with you. In the meantime, if you're not okay with that, here's a quick give that I have for you that I'd love to share with you and let them have that choice. So if you've got nothing interesting to say, because you can't find anything interesting on their LinkedIn profile or company, don't send a connection request. If they're active on LinkedIn, refer to something that, that's on LinkedIn, either on their profile or a post. Super important, your tagline. That's all they can see. Your tagline is what's under your name on LinkedIn. The thing is that no note is what I'm going to go with. People can debate it. People can be upset. People can be in a tizzy about it. But the whole thing at the end of the day is that the no note has led to higher acceptance rates. I've done case studies. I've talked to different reps about this. We have different clients that have done this and it has a higher acceptance rate. So until that changes, I'll give you a different answer, but that's what I've seen so far. I would always suggest you connect with context and now there are so many things that you can use from a context perspective even if they're not posting they're engaging and you can use that as a connection point to them but then on the flip side even if they're not you can again reach out with context my name might look familiar to you as i've sent you a few emails i'd love the chance to chat with you yada yada i know that there are reps and bdrs out there who are like i get a 90 percent connection rate you know if i don't put context why would i put context and i'm like well what happens after that like what do they think of you do they respond to anything else you say do they book meetings with you probably not right because then otherwise we'd all be doing it stand out you guys it's so easy we found the data proved you get a like a like a 10 to 15 percent higher connection rate if you don't include a message. LinkedIn used to like they made a change. I want to say it was like last summer or when was it? It was like a year ago. As soon as you press accept, it dings your messages, and it's like oh, it's annoying. I always will 100 percent say include a message, but what's in that message is really important. Um, you don't want to be selling in that message, and you don't want it to be something really stupid and canned like. Hey, Will, saw we're both in the computer industry, right? Like, make it fun. Like, hey, looks like you're in Philly. Or maybe you have a very short sentence for Connect and then a PS that calls out something personalized on their profile. Like, hey, looks like we're both in Philly too. We should grab a cheesesteak. I would say probably more often than not, if the information to write a personalized note is available, then yes, do it. The kind of note you should not include in a connection request is, saw that you just raised some money, hoping now would be a good time to look into my company. The, the data says that more people connect to like a blank request. I also have found success when I send over a uh, connection request after sending an email. Hey, just trying to put a face to a name for my cold email, like, or like looking forward to hearing what you think about what I sent over. I'll skip it because I have a fancy tagline that gets people's attention. But if I was like an A or SDR, I don't think I'd skip it because I know when I skip it, they're seeing A or SDR and they're like, man, I'm gonna connect with this person, they're gonna pitch me. In that case, what I like to do is just mention something about them. Nothing about me, nothing about my company, just something really short, usually around work history. Hey, congrats on nearing your one year work anniversary with sales fees. Like a text message, like all lowercase. I would say either something very, very relevant, doesn't even have to be personalized, just like relevant. But if it's relevant, it will be personalized or uh, nothing at all. Do you include a note in your connection requests? Let us know in the comments below.